much. Now, there are still a lot of questions this morning surrounding the governor's announcement and what this means for Wisconsinites going forward. So this morning we are joined by Dr. Jeff Pothoff, the UW Health Chief Quality Officer. And Dr. Pothoff, we really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. And so to be clear here, the governor is not closing businesses. This is not a stay at home order. He did pinpoint things like happy hours, dinner parties and sleepovers, asking people not to do those. Are those the type of events that as the reason as to why we are seeing so many more cases right now, in your opinion? It actually is. So when we look at contact tracing data, what we are seeing now is, you know, what we would call relatively small gatherings. Uh, are where transmission is occurring. Uh, you know, the reason this is happening is the uh, amount of COVID-19 in our population is so high right now uh, that even gatherings of 10 people, 15 people, uh, puts you at a reasonable risk of having someone there who's asymptomatic with COVID-19. Uh, we're talking with Dr. Jeff Pott on UW Health. Uh, doctor, we have the statewide mask mandate. Granted, compliance is spotty. Anybody who's been out and about uh, would testify to that. But we have capacity limits in some businesses. Our downtown office towers here in Milwaukee are virtually empty. We have schools, if not most, many are virtual. We're taking all these steps and still the virus spreads. What would you say to those who remain skeptical that taking any of these measures is doing anything substantially to help? Yeah, I think, you know, you see that a lot where individuals will say, hey, you know, we've got all these things uh, in order. Why does the virus keep growing? And, uh, you know, the answer to that is not that those mitigation strategies don't work. Uh, we've got, you know, conclusive evidence that it does. Uh, we don't have enough of us doing those things. Uh, you know, this is a full team effort. Uh, this is a team sport. Uh, we need really high compliance with mitigation strategies like masking, social distancing. Uh, it's not something that just a few of us can do. Everyone needs to do it. And so Dr. Potoff, in your opinion, as people listen to the governor or are watching you right now this morning, asking someone to change their behavior, how impactful do you think that request will be? Yeah, you, you know, I don't know how impactful it will be. Uh, I wish I had tools that weren't just asking people to change behavior because I understand that that is difficult and we've all had enough of this. Uh, but right now, um, you know, we are on a fast train. We're heading right towards the cliff and we got to pull the brakes. And the only thing I got is social distancing, masking, washing your hands. Doctor, we're pretty much out of time, but I did want to sneak this in because there is some skepticism about the hospital numbers as well. From where you sit, how dire is the situation for Wisconsin hospitals right now in terms of ability to treat patients? Yeah, we, we are busting at the seams. Uh, we are getting close to making decisions that would compromise the quality of care of both patients who have coronavirus in Wisconsin and patients who have other things, heart attacks, strokes. Uh, that's no joking matter. Things are very, very uh, looking dire for hospitals right now. Uh, we, we, need, we need a change. Dr. Jeff Potoff, UW Health. Doctor, thanks so much for your time this morning. Appreciate it.